Hello, welcome back to Hand of Fate 2. Today, let's try the chariot. The symbol of victory over oppression. Control and will. Properties I understand well, and you will learn. I will uh, succeed in this encounter with Malachit, okay? I will. Oh, let's check everything. Okay, there's nothing we can get. There's no new card later. Okay, let's read first. A plague of corruption spreading through the downtrodden denizens in the old city. Aid Estrella and her loyal soldiers and find a way for the citizens to escape. Infestation. Let's say defeat as many corrupted as possible to find the source of the plague. Precision. You will need to demonstrate great precision in order to win the day. Rescue aid and save innocent townsfolk to access more stock and options at hand. It gives me no information whatsoever on what the work of armors things, so say are. Maybe for defense, fallen treasure, empire contracts maybe, duel. This one maybe? No. Oh, let's go for the dark first. It's new. No, I don't think it's from the main. And yeah, let's go for those two. Hopefully. We don't need holy purification. First circus crates always nice. This is nice. The lower stand and this looks corrupted. Mm, okay, we got food, gambler there. Oops. Gambler's rule. Mm, let's go for the bastion of purification because we can. And extinguisher. And last we will go for the O. Oh. Yes, I decided to put shield against crafted and this is the right weapon, so oh, fuck. Okay. let's start. This corruption spreads across the breadth of the Empire. It even touches me. My power keeps it at bay. But these are the seals that Callus has attempted and failed to place upon my return. Sir Molly Fowell looks down from the back of his steed uh, at the soldiers linked rank and file before him. The city is lost to the plague, he says dryly. We will not waste another soldier on this place. He gives the final command. In the name of the Emperor, prepare to withdraw. Block the gatehouses. Let no one through at sunrise burn the city to the ground. Without hesitation, the soldiers march down the cobbled street towards the western gatehouse. A single soldier remains, the captain. She removes her helm to reveal a quiff of golden hair and an eye patch concealing a wound from battle long ago. She approaches you and Mala cries. Many innocent people will die come morning if nothing is done to correct this injustice, she explains. I ask that you aid my men in search in their search for citizens to escort out of the old city. Hurry, nightfall fast approaches. Away. Okay, never mind. The people will not find safe passage to the west. The gatehouse to the southeast, however, was abandoned when the infected broke through. If we can clear enough corruption from the from this district, we can escort any citizens through with with, with minimal resistance. My coachman will follow and transport any citizens you might find along the way. If you are lucky, they may be of assistance in your travels. Search the streets and kill the infected. I will send word when the way is clear. Everywhere the rot touches and everywhere bears its stains. You dash through the labyrinth of slum streets in the city center. You pass through without any without incident. Tall blue buildings line the streets, their lower windows boarded up with planks of wood or an imperial order, a futile attempt to hinder the spread of the plague. Surgery must be done with precision, if it is to be effective. You find yourself surrounded by the corrupted horde that broke through the gatehouse and wandered into the, the district. They shuffle mindlessly back and forth on the spot, 
limbs twitching, seemingly unaware of a presence. Let's try and bring it. You know, we don't always have to fight everything we see, Mark Labs whispers. You draw your weapon and prepare to take the group by surprise. Oh, the pendulum. I was thinking of trying to get the gold one, but no. No way in hell. A rain of blows fails the group of infected before they can respond. The remaining infected stand by idly, twitching and writhing in sickness. Malak types pats you on the back. Good job, I'm proud of you. I guess I should join in on this fight. You want to believe me? Asshole. Nicely timed. Mm, thank you. With a flurry of strikes, you fell the infected before they can re retaliate. Despite your best efforts, the remaining infected close in. Barely more than a wood chopper stool. You look hardly worth our time. Oh, I can block? <laughs> Alright, I can block, but blocking means I can't avoid stun. No. Oh wait, wait, wait. Kill him! What the hell is wrong with that guy? Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Sorry! I couldn't, ah, I couldn't hold him. Sorry. That appears to be last of them, Malakap's remarks. Continue your journey through the winding streets. Oh, what's that? Fetid fans. Let's go. The stench of death is upon everything here. We understand that, you and I. A miasma hangs in the air, thick and redolent of the dead things trapped in dark waters. Just walking this path has been known to leave travelers with a lifelong cough. You spy an old carriage through the fog, it wheels locked in the mire. The occupants either fled or were eaten by the inhabitants of the swamp long ago. Since the fog is thickest around its rotten timbers, then maybe yet be valuables within. Enveloped in a thick cloud of marsh gas, you carefully make your way across stones and fallen logs toward the target. Eh, and that's what I've been doing. Patience, do not move too quickly, for haste breeds only failure. Okay. Oh. You make your way to the cart and discover an old crate. The lock rips from the southern wall, giving you access to the equipment inside. Oh, what's that? For a bomb that deals 150 damage to corruption in the area. Give me that. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> you flee the wetlands, though the taint of its stench lingers with you. Eh, let's go over here. Wait, what's that? Okay, it comes. Oh, okay, okay. I'm um, resting iron pick. Do we have enough? Oh, I don't think so. Let's wait with this iron pick. Signs of mass departure are everywhere. Homes stand empty. All that remains are crumbling ruins. Some still fight. Yet, they must know their time is near. The unmistakable sound of combat alerts you to a group of townsfolk being attacked by the infected. One brave warrior struggles to hold back the horde. You rush to, to their aid. Can I just one shot the terror? You will see. Right. This should be fine. No, it doesn't one-shot him, but it does significant amount. 
All things considered, yeah. It does. Oh, okay, I thought I missed. Okay, I'll take care of this guy. No! Oh, I think he died. I think that one. Try die. You arrived just in time, the warrior ex explains. I don't think I could have held them off for much longer. I could part with some equipment, continues. I don't think it will do me much good now. See me if you're interested in trade. In trade, of course. You explain Captain Fire's plan and, ex and help the survivors on to the wagons. The stench of corruption flows across the cities, tainting everything it touches. We bring word from Captain Fiora, the soldier explains with a salute. An infected we horde at the next gate house has subsided. Uh, but there is a problem. Corruption grows from the ground itself, blocking all passage for the wagons. It must be destroyed. She asks that we join you in your efforts, the soldier continues. Should you require our assistance, we all we need only ask. Oh, thank you. It's five times. Okay. What's up? It is a kind of miracle. The Empire has done their best to purge this world of everything strange and wonderful, and yet the strong remain. You see some treasure lying just inside the den of a family of claw trolls. Ooh. You may try to retrieve it, but the claws of troll cubs are preternaturally sharp. You'll have to be quick. I'll try. Retrieve the item, but the troll cubs are enraged at your intrusion to the cave. Oh, okay. For some reason, I thought those wooden blocks will lock. <laughs> okay, you are both quick and nimble as you exit the cave safely. Okay. Do not take too long. The city falls around you. I know. You approach the horse drawn wagons, Captain Fire's soldiers stand to attention, and the head coachman tips the brim of his hood. We'll transport any people we find in this wars. Nice. Just keep the wagon out of trouble. Okay, I want to trade. Oh, okay, I can Oh, we have food. Thank you. <laughs> so much magic comes down to simple needs. Yeah, in the end, not don't anything. you find? What's that? Oh, okay, so it's the unrest. Maybe we'll get some food over there. Starvation has been the end of many adventurers. A pall of smoke casts the city in a dull grey light as you navigate the narrow streets and back alleys apparently. You are the prince of poison! Yeah. Uh, oh, ask about the dish, dish hell, these hell-filled children in the alleyways. Most of them lost their parents to poison and live on the street now. Fuck. Uh, visit the marketplace. The Iron Peak Pilecart Place is large enough to house many stalls. As you wander through, you note many are vacant. Few people seem to choose the risk of shopping in such a public place these days, and those that do never linger for long. In a quiet corner of the market, you find a desperate man attempting to sell an unusual assortment of oddities. He picks up a statue of three headed creatures, saying, this statue of a healing spirit from the distant kingdom of Duntia is exactly what you need to survive the next attack by the Prince of Poisons. Mm. Map? The map reveals a little about the countryside surrounding the town of Iron Peak. As you turn to ask how much gold you owe, a supernatural chill travels up your arm and freezes your heart. Sorry, stranger, the store owner says, suddenly packing up the rest of his wear. But I stole these from a particularly vengeful warlock, and his magic prevents me from just throwing them away. Good luck with that one! The man kicks the table over and flees down the back alley. We lose sight of him in the gloom and decide to abandon his godforsaken town. 
You leave the troubled town of Iron Peak with the impression that you fear not seeing all that it has to offer. Yeah, I'll probably die before. Signs of mass departure are everywhere, homestead empty. What are you sacrificing when you stop to help them? Have you asked yourself that? You happen upon a group of frightened peasants desperately seeking safety. We hear the Empire has abandoned the city, they cried. Please help us. Explain Captain Fire's plan and help them on their vitals. We are grateful, the woman says as she steps to the grave. I haven't much food, but should you need some, I would be willing to trade. Give me some food, just give it to me. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I could use artifact. Okay, souls. Wait a second, okay. We'll see. I. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Give me that. Free food for. Free gold pieces? Thank you. Okay. Yay! One more great food. You use the Empire to provide the fodder for your own challenges. I understand. You visit your contact in the Imperial Armory. You must be planning for trouble if you've come for me to help. He says with a knowing grin. Tell me, who are you hunting? I'll see what I can find in the vault of contraband's item. Corrupted. You outline plans to hunt corrupted. Something came in just yesterday. Comments heading into the vault. Ooh, that's. I could get in a lot of trouble if anyone finds out I took it from the vault. I'll have it sent to you when I can. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. Okay, thank you. Maybe you should look to regain our strength at the wagon, Malgrap says as you make your way through the willing world. It doesn't may have food to trade. Yeah. Okay, I think we gathered every peasant from here. Oh. Let's ambush them. Even when things appear impossible, they can be mastered. <laughs> Keep practicing. Yeah. Mm. The rest of the infected turn into commotion and clamor towards you, arms rushing. Barclaps readies his spellbook. We could have run like courts from the beginning, but no! That's not. I'm a coward. See? It worked! <laughs> Breathe. You have done well. <laughs> The weapon finds its mark, the real fool your fall is cleaving the infected before they can land a blow. Hmm. And nope. I don't help against five crap. I hope this works! I hope so too. What the hell? Three of them. The finger shark. Four. Okay. That's unusual. My bits. Perhaps it were changed. I don't know. That appears to be the last of them. Malakab's remarks. We continue your journey. I want some food. <laughs> I don't even go. Okay, that's that was the last of them, and I'm dying. A balance of resources is key. No one wants to perish wealthy, but starving. The smell of rotting flesh lingers in the air. The gatehouse tower looms over you, its sides encrusted with the taint of corruption. The captain greets you as you approach. It is as the skulls reported, Malakab said. That corruption will block the path for the wagons. Now make haste, we will protect the wagons with my scouts. You two clear the way. 
You draw your weapon and prepare to face the infected. Yeah, we can have some help. When so many of them... Yep. I think we still have this... this... Uh, artifact. Right? This time I don't know. The land itself becomes shattered, shambling and broken. Attacks with bursts of corruption that snare and damage their targets. It is vital to avoid the attacks or change direction rapidly to break free. Wait, give me a second. <laughs> oh. Wait, I'll take that. Oh That's dead. Oh, yes, I forgot how to hit again. This, at least, it worked, okay? Captain Fire addresses you. You have a steady swing, excellent soldier. It will only be more difficult from here on. I bear no ill will towards you if you choose to leave now. Of course I'll continue! As the captain scouts leaves the wagons through to the next district and seal the gates, you ascend the gatehouse tower. Can someone feed me? What is it the towers will watch over? A stream of death and despair? The tower provides a commanding view over the once impressive city. As you pause to catch your breath, you watch the last of the sun's rays disappear over the horizon. Malakleps shakes your shoulder and points over the battlements to the south. There you see the final gatehouse, its tower rising from the wall of the old city to the south. Oh my god. <coughs> Sorry. Have you ever seen so many Malakleps remarks as you watch the infected swarm the city wall? How can the Empire let its people suffer so? Malakleps mutters when they breath, and then abandon those in need. As you continue to look, a small glow appears on the horizon between the city perimeter. First one, then another, then another. The Empire! Malakleps cries. They are preparing to burn the city! We must get the people to safety. Let us hope you are not too late. Yeah, first of all, kill. Can I sell it now? If there is a finer mind than my own. I've yet to meet it. Yet, I've brought a scourge of mindlessness into this world, and must suffer the results. A wounded peasant runs stumbling down the street, chased by a horde of corrupted. Uh, he falls at your feet and begins to twitch. The blood from his wounds boils and blackens. Ready your weapon as the horde draws near. Oh, thank you. I know we still have four charges of that, and eh, I don't think we need it. And I still have one charge of my artifact. Right? Oh, get it! Where the hell are I trying to run? Okay, dead, and the last one that doesn't want to fight. Don't ask me why, I have no idea. 
he just decided to run away. It was his choice, but I had to kill him more or less. If the horde defeated, the townsfolk rushed to them to as in the grateful for protection. Food! Oh fuck, I screwed that up. Yes. I screwed that up again. Ah! That should help. Oh, yes, discard that. No one gives you healing toning. Thank you! We believe fire will purge this sickness, but the sickness is not in the city, it is in the land itself. It will be purged, but not like this. The terrible crash, the building beside you is struck by a flaming catapult shot. The building hay heaves and twists from the impact and crumbles across the street in front of you. You take cover as debris falls in the street, home in the horse once again you turn back the way you came. I'll try ambushing them. Uh, yep, I'll go the easy way. Trying to get rid of those two. Fuck! I would be late for the other one as well. Oh, really? I just healed. Yeah. Help me, please. I don't think there's any terror, but I don't want to fight them alone. Inflicted. The rod grants power before it grants release. Muscle replaced with darkness. Organ pumping black bile through shattered veins. Infected enemies are feeble, causing them to become knocked down when health is low. There's a finisher before they cover. Oh, there is one there. Okay, there of this one. Oh, really? I think it's really. Kill the one. I honestly have no idea what's going on with those guys. Quite honest. Maybe the game changed the difficulty for me. I have to change that later. But I don't need difficulty to be long hurt. I'll be fine, even if I die. With the ward decimated, you resume your journey through the winding. They have nothing on them. I'm gonna die. I'm trying to find some peasants for that, please, some of them. Do you wonder what lies beyond the gates of death? This. Corruption is but a small part of it. Yeah. Note to myself for the next time. Take the food. Keep them away from me! I hope this works! Them away from you? Really? I'm the one that's dying. You can be healed. To teleport or something, okay. Really? I'm not changing direction of my attack.
Okay. Okay. Everything's fine. Except that it's not. Yay! Give me some food. Maybe I should aim for the gold. Is that dual? <gasps> that may grant me some gold. Thus we see the contempt the Empire holds your kind in. A careless comment in an Imperial tavern gains you some unwanted attention. A soldier pushes through the throng. Though merely a corporal, you sense his eagerness to prove himself. The Empire has no place for honorless sells swords, he say loudly, sizing you up with contempt. Coin slaves like you are little more than undisciplined thugs. Nobody cares for you, outrageous claims of heroism. I know of this mercenary, a traitor at the back of the tavern pipes up. They say she defeated the magical shaman of a northern tribe. Irrelevant, sort of says, turning back to you. You think you know how to handle that thing, do you? You can continue gesturing your weapon. I am Cassius, the finest swordsman in my company. Would you like to prove your mettle against a real warrior? Or are goblins the corrupted the limit of your talents? I accept. Cassius. Very drunk. Watchmen can block quickly reducing incoming damage. Use bash to open them up. Oh. What? <laughs> hey! Enough! Your opponent steps back, hands raised. I don't have time for this nonsense. Seven Crown cheers your victory, and the tales of your battles are told and retold. Your prowess growing with each. Okay, give me a second. Um, uh, control salty this before. No? Where is it? It's not here. Button, controller. Because I have a strange feeling that. I think this is the easy mode, but I have it all. Hmm. I wanted food for money. <laughs> no, of course. Okay, is it the right time to say that I don't care about citizens? I care about, I care about what they can give me. Gasping with Gold. each step, hoping yes, 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 to survive. Yes, yes, yes. Find food if you can. I'm, I'm working on trying to find food. Yeah, I lost, but I. Uh, no. Come. Yeah, trade. Buy food. Give me food. Yes. We can eat. <laughs> I know. Okay, we may stay alive. With every step, corruption reaches further, and your chances become less. You spy a group of poor urchins loitering in an alley. They look hungry. As you approach, they scramble into the pile of the plate. Explain me. I'm here to help. How do we know you're not one of them? One cried. How do we know you're not sick like those monsters? Another. I'll try that again. That will set you in good stead from here. 
You successfully grab some of the children before they make their escape. You load them on the wagons and assure them of their safety. The remaining urchins remain unreachable. It's no use. Maybe some food would coax them from their hiding. Okay, I can lose so four food. reading all of this but it just goes on the same parts. If there's any anything new I will read it. The pendulum swings like a scythe, bearing hope or failure. Yeah, sometimes it's best to nice wait for time. that. <laughs> and like this, we only have two parts to deal with and we don't have help. You should run! Are you at the chance? Nope. Oh, can I open that trusty? Please? Okay. I forget to check whether this axe has any open to it. <laughs> that appears to be the last of them. They bring world from... Okay. 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 Just as before. What's that? Bridge skirmish. Let's try getting some use. Quick, quick, we must, we must find a way. Yep, can we buy something? Okay. No. Oh, fuck. Wits or weapons? Oh. Perhaps both will fulfill you here. From your viewing angle, you notice that the bridge structure has been damaged. With luck, you may be able to knock out one of the supports with a thrown object, causing the bridge to collapse. Can I throw so? Uh, Eating spirits, yeah. I have no use of that. The bridge breaks, sending some of your enemies to their doom. The rest prepare for battle. Uh, okay. I would rather. Yep, I would rather fight with trappers. They are easier enemies. At least I find them easier to fight with. I really worry about music up here. You're a true bard. It would be funny if we are able to go to both side with Thank you to help. <laughs> Same. 
me. Wait, you said it's all. I hope you think that the crafted are no more. Fuck! I know I shouldn't <laughs> try hitting the gold one. Time oh my god! To leave you. Um. Yes, please. Just because there's still a terror remaining, even though I'm the one that has to do with him, because no one else can. Oh my goodness. Cover me. Cover me. I'm going in. For this. My mind just went off. Really? Oh, now we're just Okay, now our traps can be in that one. <laughs> run, run over there. I'll let you go in. Or not. Because for some reason you guys don't wanna... F I truly don't understand what's going on. Never happened before. And we still have... Twenty one citizens left to rescue. Yes! There's more food to give me. Yeah, yeah, I don't care. Give me food. <laughs> yep. Thank you. Even in the Ooh. midst of terrors. There will always be traders who stayed too long hoping to profit. You find a merchant and his family. You explain Captain Fiora's plan and help the merchant and his family onto the wagons. Thank you, the merchant says, boarding the wagon. If you find yourself short of gold, I'll be happy to give you a good piece price for any equipment you may want to trade. Thank you. Actually, we might try. Let's see. Uh, do I want sword? No, actually not. Take 50 hits in combat. No, thank you. <laughs> Let's try the armor of 15 armored crafted. Oh, we do with 6. Okay, no. We don't need one now. Let's go here. Beautiful hero. Yep. No, thank you. I think it's more useful if we are facing a lot of cards. Help. I hope this works. Please help them. Okay, one's already dying. Why? Oh, okay, they won't die, I guess. Come on, where is he? I know I arrived just in time and we've saved all of them. So let's see what Soothsayer has to say. Next time, bring more food. 
You are about to embark on a quest for the mayor of a small town when a young, strangely dressed woman shouts to you, Beware, stranger, for I have seen your future and danger awaits. But f for, for but a few coins, she continues while clipping on, I can tell you of your upcoming misfortunes. Eh, I'll go anyway. You turn and re enter the tavern, anxious to get away. Moments later, you notice only a, a cold thing on the bathroom, so you, danger awaits you. The next day, you stride into the forest, intent on hunting down the brigands that have been hurrying the town. Your quest gets off to a good start. A health potion rolls off the back of a passing wagon as it rumbles past along the forest path. The driver pays no heed as he whip, whip, whips his wagon along at a fast pace. Continue. You discover a pixie trapped under a jar with a rock on top. For losing her, she offers to heal your wounds. Thank you! <laughs> You are attacked by a holy monkey snake as you pause to drink at the lake. Dispatching it quickly, you turn it into a meal and find it surprisingly filling. A health portion rolls. Um, you find the brilliance and agree to pay them some gold to move on. They agree to leave for now. Hehehe. <laughs> you begin your journey back to the village. You realize a beggar you met earlier must have picked some coal from your pocket, even as you knock them aside. Hehehe. <laughs> you take pity on the pair of filthy children who approach the back of the food. A chance encounter with an almond. This Vienna leaves you with poison in your face. With the situation with the brigand resolved, you return to the village to collect your payment, only to discover that the mayor has left town on Huyga for an indefinite time. I believe it's more good without payment. I don't mind. Let's finish this. Endless dark deeds have been done in the name of the Empire. May you set that ledger right, at least in part. At long last, you arrive at the final gatehouse, the exit out of the old city. You usher the frightened citizens through the gate and to their escape. My thanks to you, she says with a smile. I doubt we could have done anything more for the people of the old city. Halt! A voice shouts from beyond the gate. You turn to see a troop of Empire soldiers marching through the gatehouse. By decree of the Emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. Captain Fire, you are to return to the Imperial City at once to report. Your captain commands. Captain Fire scoffs, calling to the young captain blocking the gate. These people bear no mark of corruption. All they want is safe passage. Emperor, decree or no, this is our duty to protect them. What good is a soldier who cannot follow commands? What is an empire without orders? The young captain resolves proudly. By decree of the emperor, none are permitted to leave the old city. Captain Fire draws her pistol, standing between the covering old city refugees and the emperor's decree. I will not stand down. Yes! <laughs> oh, what a shame, I cannot use my artifact against them. But, we'll make it work. They will die. We'll survive. Captain Sterling, he hears the pleas from the old city but does not weep. Orders are orders. Captains wear armor that those star attacks is brushed by the armor. I fight for justice, Ooh, nice. not simply as I ordered. If this is how it must be, so be it. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Really? Even up after you, Captain Die. Okay, there's another one. Where? Oh. 
And where the hell Mala hides? He disappeared too. This Emperor decreed injustices have been on the increase of late, and Pharaoh says. Something ill is growing from within. She closes her room. Ruminations and gives you a summer. The Empire would do well to have somebody like you serving it. Thank you. Come on. This is where you differ. There is no problem Callus would not have solved through death, yet mm. you show mercy. And the golden token. Okay. Ooh, nice. Oh, wait. This one? Chieftain's axe. Oh, I like that. Okay. I can no longer go easy on you. The usurper will not do so, and I must test you sorely before you arrive at his gates. Okay. Well. <clears throat> But we'll continue this for now. For now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.